back into the kitchen and uh, today I'm going to show you how I make my chickpea rice uh, that I use to stuff the whole lamb with. But there's more because I'm actually going to show you how you can use this rice dish and create a completely different meal out of it by just simply adding eggplant. So I'm going to start here. This is so simple. I'm going to start by frying off some slivered almonds until they're nice and golden in colour. So once they're nice and golden in colour, remove those and place them on a tea towel. The same oil here, I'm going to add some pine nuts and I'm going to fry those off exactly the same until they're nice and golden in colour. So using the same oil that we have just fried the um, slivered almonds and the pine nuts in, I'm going to add my onion. So we're going to get that nutty flavour in our rice. So once you've sauteed your onions, what you're going to do is add your washed rice here and get yourself some canned chickpeas. I find that it's a lot easier than having to remember to soak my chickpeas. So add those to the rice. And here the most delicious and aromatic part of the recipe is this seven spice that I use and it's homemade. You can buy it from Middle Eastern stores. You can buy it from the supermarket. Today, I'm going to add some vegeta. And so therefore, if I add vegeta, I don't add um, salt. One or the other, give that a really good mix. Add your water. We're gonna turn that down to very low. Cover the pot. And this will take about 20 to 25 minutes for the rice to cook through and your rice is ready. And that is the rice that we use to stuff our wood oven lamb roast with. Okay, so once that's cooked, now I'm going to show you a completely new dish using that very same rice. All you will need is some eggplant. That's the other ingredient. Now we're going to slice that in half lengthways. And all you're going to do is cut across, so you're going to cut them into chunks, probably about two centimetre thick, just like that. And then place those pieces into a colander, just like that. Stand them up as much as you can. And we are going to salt those. Be generous with your salt, because eggplant loves salt. It loves oil, it loves salt. So we're going to salt these. And we are going to let that moisture run through. So always place that on a plate. But here's the other option. If you do not want to deep fry your eggplants for a healthier option, this is what you do. Cut them into chunks and just slightly oil each one. You can use a brush, you can drizzle. Salt those. Turn them around, drizzle with oil and salt and place into the oven for 40 minutes or until they're nice and brown on 180 degrees. So just let your eggplant sit for about 15 or so minutes and just before dropping it into the oil, pat dry them just like that with a napkin or paper towels and drop into the oil and fry away. This rice here is the stuffing. Remember, we said earlier that this, can, this is going to be two dishes. This is the stuffing, and obviously when you're stuffing your lamb, you're going to make a lot more, but I will also give you the quantities in my video when we do the, um, the wood oven uh, lamb. So, showing you now how we're going to um, create this new recipe, and this is the chickpea and eggplant pilaf. So what I'm going to do, I've got here my fried eggplants, and if you want, this is the baked eggplants. Okay, I've got my nuts and I have my rice and we now start to plate up. So, place some of the rice and chickpeas that you've just cooked up in the bowl. I'll do maybe half at the bottom. You're going to layer. 
So you could have two layers of eggplant, you can have one layer of eggplant, and now place all those eggplants that we have fried in between around the rice, and then top with some more rice. Now you can cover those eggplants because we have got some more eggplants to finish off with. And grab some more eggplant. I'm going to scatter with my pine nuts and I'm going to scatter with my slivered almonds and this is a delicious meal created from perhaps even leftover rice, chickpea rice that you've got when you host it on the weekend to turn it into a main meal during the week. And then here, garnish with some parsley. And here we go, delicious meal. Enjoy it with yogurt, enjoy it with a salad, enjoy it on its own. This could be your leftover rice from the weekend when you used it for a stuffed lamb. And I know you'll love it. So um, remember to subscribe, like, and follow us.